What do you do when you have extra money? Do you use all of them to buy the things that you like? Or do you save them? Of course, you have to save your money. Because just in case if you need your money urgently, you can get it immediately. So where do you save your money? Is it under the pillow? Inside the drawer? Or in the piggy bank? So regardless of where you save your money, make sure you keep it in a safe place. Okay, when your money becomes a lot, you can put them in a bank. Because the bank offers interest, which is like a bonus to you. And then your money will grow even more. In this video, I will teach you the three common types of savings in bank, which are savings account, current account, and fixed deposit account. So remember to watch until the end if you want to know how to calculate simple interest and compound interest, and we'll start right now. Hello everyone, my name is Shirley and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you'd like to improve in your math skills, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. Let's take a look at the first part of savings, which is savings account. In savings account, the account holder can save any amount according to his or her ability. And the account holder will get a debit card, which looks like this. Okay, and then this debit card, they can use it to withdraw their money at any ATM machine across the country. Okay. However, the interest rate offered for savings account is lower than fixed deposit account. Okay, the good thing is you can withdraw money at any time and anywhere. So that is the convenience of savings account. Savings in a current account can be used for personal or business purposes. So the good thing about current account is you'll be given a checkbook whereby you can write your own checks, you can issue checks to your customers, to your clients or to make payments for bills. The downside of current account is you won't be given any interest and there will be a service charge charged to account every year. And you can also use the debit card to withdraw money at the ATM machine and you can also use it for online transactions by using the online banking services. So if you want to apply for current account, make sure that you have a referral whereby the referral must be a customer from the same branch of the same bank. Deposit account, or we normally call it FD account, allows account holders to save a certain amount of money, for example, 500 ringgit or 1000 ringgit, for a certain period of time, for example, one month, three months, six months, nine months, one year, or up to five years. So, the good thing about fixed deposit account is the bank offers a higher interest rate compared to savings account. So, the downside of fixed deposit account is you are not allowed to withdraw your money before the maturity date. So what happens if you withdraw your money before the maturity date? Your interest will be lower and your account will be cancelled. So if you don't plan to use your money for the near future or you don't have any plans, so you can just keep your extra money in fixed deposit account to earn a higher interest okay, and wait until the maturity date. So when it's maturity date, okay, you can bring your certificate. This certificate will be given to applicants okay, who apply for the fixed deposit account, okay, regardless of whichever bank that you go to. Okay, just bring it to the bank. Either you want to withdraw it or you can also renew it for the following year if you want to earn extra interest. What is simple interest? Simple interest is a reward given to the depositor at a certain rate on the deposit amount which is the principal for a certain period of time in years. The simple interest can be calculated using the following formula. So the formula is I equals to PRT whereby I stands for interest, P stands for principal, R stands for rate and T stands for time in years. Let's look at this example. Mr. James deposits 6,000 ringgit in a bank with an interest rate of 3% per annum for a period of 3 years. 
calculate the total savings of Mr. James after he has saved for three years. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Is I'm going to take out the information from the question. So P is the principal, which is six thousand ringgit. So six thousand ringgit. Okay, and then R is the interest rate, which is three percent. So it's three percent, which is also three over one hundred. Okay, and then T is in years, which is three years. So it's three. So I'm going to substitute this three information into the formula I equals to P R T. So P is six thousand ringgit times with the interest, which is three over one hundred times with three years, and the answer is five hundred and forty. So the total savings at the end. Of the third year, okay, is so you're going to add the principal, which is six thousand ringgit, plus with the interest, which is five hundred and forty ringgit, and the answer is six thousand five hundred and forty ringgit. So that's the answer. Interest. Compound interest is interest that is calculated based on the original principal and also the accumulated interest from the previous period of savings. So for compound interest, the frequency of compounding on the principal can be different. For example, compounded once a year or once every three months and so on. So the formula for calculating compound interest is MV equals to P bracket 1 plus R over N bracket power N T. So MV stands for matured value, P stands for principal, R stands for yearly interest rate, N stands for number of periods the interest is compounded per year, and T stands for term in years. Let's look at this example. At the beginning of the year, Mrs. Ong saves 10,000 ringgit in a savings account with a rate of 2% per annum and compounded every 3 months. What is Mrs. Ong's total savings at the end of the third year? So to solve this question, first of all, I'm going to list down the information that I've gotten from the question. Okay, so from the question, the principal is 10,000 ringgit. So therefore, P is equals to RM 10,000. Okay, and the R interest rate is 2%. So equals to 2%, which is also 2 over 100. Okay, and I can change to 0.02, to decimal. Then N, which is the number of periods compounded. So it's 4. How we get 4 is because it's compounded every 3 months. So one year there are 12 months. So 12 divided by 3 is 4. Okay, and the T is for 3 years because it's 3rd year. Okay, so to calculate the matured value, I'm going to put into the formula, which is P, 1 plus R over N, holding power N T. Okay, so equals, principal is 10,000, so 10,000, okay, bracket, 1 plus, the R is 0 0.02 over 4, okay, and the power is N T, which is 4 times 3, okay. So equals 10,000, okay, and this answer in the bracket to the power of 12, so we'll get 1.0617, okay, which is equals to RM 10,616.78. So this is the total savings at the end of the third year. So today we have learned about savings account, current account, and fixed deposit account. So start saving now because if you start saving your money, your money will save you later. If you think this video is useful, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my new videos every single week. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you guys will keep on learning, keep on practicing and keep on watching my videos and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!